Hey, Gopher fans, it's Mike Grimm with Gopher Radio and GopherSports.com. It's time for another edition of Gopher Talk. Our Gopher Talk, as always, is presented by our great friends at Affinity Plus Federal Credit Union, your local credit union throughout the entire state of Minnesota. And we're going to talk some golf here. We have some exciting news. Mariana Mosones is a two-time Big Ten Golfer of the Week, and she's just a freshman. She is setting records all over the course. She's had a great fall season, and she joins us here on Gopher Talk. And Mariana, uh, hello to you. Hi, Mike. Um, thank you for having me here. Yeah. How much fun are you having so far this fall? You have set records in back-to-back -back events. Uh, you finished second in both of those events. And team record-wise, you set scoring marks in, in both of those events. Yeah, um, I'm enjoying the fall here. Um, it's amazing having uh, representing the Maroon Gold. Um, I've been having a really nice fall in my sports, and I want to continue uh, continue having this big success uh, for the next tournament. Is this about as well as you've played, uh, you know, throughout your life? I know you've been playing golf for a long, long time, but uh, have you put together some some of your best rounds here in the last month or so? Um, yeah, this is pretty much my best like rounds in tournaments, like shooting seven under in three days. It's um, my record. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's amazing. So I'm just going to read a couple of them. You broke the school's 18 hole and 36 hole record, finishing second in the Lady Paladin Invitational three weeks ago. And then exactly seven days after that, you broke the school's 18 hole. 36 hole and 54 hole record in the Evie Odom Invitational, and uh, you were honored by the Big Ten uh, for both of those events. You're just a freshman. Um, we want you to uh, tell your story a little bit. You uh, grew up in Peru, and here you are in Minneapolis, Minnesota. Take us through your trek to get uh, from your home country uh, into uh, Minnesota and uh, and playing golf here for the Golden Gophers. Um, well, I started playing golf when I was four years old, and at the age of seven, I started playing tournaments, uh, national and international. Um, I found that golf, it, I connect with golf really good, and being an introvert person, I feel like I can express myself uh, being around the golf course, and traveling all over the world is uh, really, like, amazing. Um, at the age of uh, 11, I started uh, representing my national team. I was, um, and I still am, uh, ranked first on the national team back in Peru. And at age of six, 14, I moved to Saddlebrook Preparatory School in Tampa, Florida to like improve my golf and get to the next level of um, eliteness, I can say. And then um, I reached out to Coach Real here. I came for a visit and I loved, I loved every single thing about Minnesota, about the university. I feel like we're a family here. We take care of each other. My team and I, we push each other to be not only good at golf, but be successful in life. And that's what I like about being in Minnesota because I feel that we are all a family and we want to be successful in every single aspect in life. And that team aspect, is that what sold you? Take me through that recruiting trip. You mentioned you were in Tampa uh, at the at the prep school getting ready for golf. I'm sure you had other schools that were uh, hoping you'd golf for them. Well, what was the uh, what was the uh, visit like? And uh, give me a little more detail on on what uh, what sold you uh, eventually. Well, I came for an official visit on September. Um, the weather wasn't nice, but I mean, campus it was like, wow, this is huge. This is way different than what I have I was living before. I was like, I feel so connected here. I came here and met the girls. They're amazing. They're amazing ladies. Um, they all, as, as I said, they all push, push each other to be su successful. Our coaches, they're just amazing. They're a very nice person. They always want the best for you. They, even though it's hard to accomplish your dreams, they will never give up on pushing you harder to accomplish what you want. And that's what I really appreciate, not only from my coaches, but also my team in general, because we're always there for each other. As you uh, have started your college career here in the fall season, of course, the spring season will be coming up once we get through uh, some of the, the colder months here in, in the Twin Cities. Uh, did some of the success come quicker? Uh, did it translate quicker for you in terms of the college game? Did you think you'd have this much success this quickly? Um, I mean, um, my first college event was the Annika, and I didn't perform my best. But again, I want to thank my coaches because they always – 
they didn't stop believing in me. They always believe in me and believe in what I can accomplish. And yeah, they pushed me hard the following week leading to my last two events because they knew my potential and they knew what I can accomplish. And I never give up on myself. I had a bad first tournament. It was new for me. Everything was <laughs> completely new rather than junior uh, golf. But then the not giving up, the fight inside me and the support from not only my coaches, but also my teammates had led me to shoot and score like scoring records that for me, it was just amazing. And it showed myself that I can do these and better. Is, uh, you know, golf sometimes can be a game of confidence and then also maybe momentum. Uh, so you must be feeling really good about your game and hoping to, I suppose, carry it through to upcoming events and, of course, all the way into the spring season. Yeah, golf is a pretty mental game. I feel like if you have to be confident since the moment you wake up. You have to put yourself like I what I do is I wake up, I feel confidence, I put on my headphones and I say I'm ready to start the fight today. And that's what it should be. And yeah, I'm very confident. Our team is really good right now. We just shot a team record, 17 under in one day. It's pretty cool. So we are very excited for next week. That is our next tournament. Yeah, and uh, you mentioned that you're, you and your teammates are getting along very well, and you have some good golfing teammates, as you would expect at a at a Big Ten institution. But with the addition of you and the teammates that uh, are already here, what what are some team goals now as you look ahead? Uh, obviously, individually, you want to continue to play uh, as you are uh, so well. Um, but team wise, where can this uh, Gopher team kind of start fighting and and doing a few things? Well, we want to start fighting since the next tournament. We have been fighting these, like these three tournaments. We perform our best, but we want to be at regionals, be at nationals, like win tournaments. That's our goal. And we are very, I feel like we're very strong right now to accomplish those goals. So I'm very confident that we're going to make it. Individually for you, can you describe your game a little bit? What are your areas where you really uh, are maybe your strengths right now where you're, you're counting on? And then maybe tell me a spot or two where um, you're looking to also maybe take a step or two in improving. Well, right now I have changed some putting routines that I have in the course. Might be a little bit longer, but uh, it's helped me a lot. And for me, I feel that if my putting is confident, then all my game will turn confident too. And as I said, Wait, since I wake up, I feel confident. I put on my headphones and I'm ready for the fight. And I feel that my mental game right now is very strong, making, and it's pretty much for me the 95% of golf right now. And some areas I have to work on is maybe like my three wood, like some more like course management. Like I feel like when I'm playing like really good sometimes I just want to go for there even though like it's not a good idea so that's what I'm working a lot with my coaches and yeah but I feel so prepared for next events well I'm sure you've been asked this quite a bit but I've got to ask you are you are you getting ready too for these colder months I know you're going to get through a couple more events but um you know having to to potentially do some of your work indoors in the simulator and some of those things are you ready are you ready to tackle the cold weather I'm very ready. Um, I feel like last Friday, I was literally wearing three pants, three sweatshirts. I was like, oh my God, I cannot swing a club like this. But we have amazing golf facilities. Our indoor facility is just amazing. It's like we have six trackmans. We have the party. Like we are prepared for the winter and to be better at it, you know? Yeah, for sure. Well, hey, it's been fun watching and reading and and uh, and seeing your progress already here in your young career. Continued success, and thank you for joining us. Thank you for having me, Mike. All right, very good. Mariano from the Gopher Women's Golf Team. It is Gopher Talk presented by Affinity Plus. So long, Gopher fans.